engineering graphics and design learners welcome to how to egd in this video i'm going to reveal to you the subscriber the brand new set of engineering graphics and design workbooks that i've chosen to use in my own classes in this classroom when teaching my own grade 10 11 and 12 learners but the benefit to you is that these videos from next year will be live streamed every lesson that i teach in this classroom I'll be live streaming on how to EGD so that you can get the benefit of all the steps, all the hacks, all the tutorials that I teach my own learners. You can have part of that for free on how to EGD. So let's open up this package that I got from the brand new service provider. And I am super excited to have a look what is inside and reveal to you which textbooks and workbooks we'll be using in this classroom and on how to EGD from next year. Let's have a look right now. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let's have a look. This got some damage in the post, not to be too worried about it. I'm going to just rip this open. I wonder who of you can guess who is the brand new service provider. So let's have a look. Okay, this is the bag they put it in. I myself haven't opened up this yet, so this is the first time that I'm opening it up. Let's get to the zips here, and let's see what is inside. Let me just see here. The service provider being used on our TEGD for all live lessons in class and online is, can you guess... RSE, Technical Education Solutions, and this is the Grade 12 Workbook for next year. Just look at this. I'm going to page through. It's my very first view of this actual workbook. It's been revised in 2023. It's by Johan Engelbrecht, and I know these guys have been in the business for many, many years. It's according to the CAPS document, and of course, English and Afrikaans. You can see very modern take on this front cover. Let's page with me. Uh, they've got some instrument sets that they're making available. I think they've given me one of these sets. We'll see that when I open this up now in a moment. Uh, let's shift this over so you can really see the quality of these workbooks. And we'll do a quick page through, uh, very much similar to what I've used in the past. We've got all our uh, different components that they go through. And then they start off here in grade 12 with mechanical drawings. Some conventions here. This is critical. This is according to Sans. I've seen some of this before. So this is very good that the basics are... Um, covered right from the beginning and then they go over to mechanical assembly maybe I can turn this a little bit for you because from here it's going to be one page let's zoom a little bit in to give you a better view here all right there we go so look at all these questions quite a uh, number of questions in these qu uh, different mechanical analytics just doing a quick read through very clearly printed and then we get to mechanical assembly drawing. So, uh, of course, the question and then the answer sheet very easily laid out here. Just do a quick read through them. There's another one. So, wonderful what they do is the, the difficulty is escalating here for learners. Going over to civil, there's our civil analytic drawings. Again, number of questions that's going to help and familiarize learners with the content for grade 12. Detailing a roof truss. Right, then we get over to our floor plans. And of course, these are all answer sheets that learners in class will have to complete. Uh, very good quality questions. Okay, I can again see how the difficulty escalates here. Going over to perspective drawings. I'm going to skip a couple of them. But you just have a feel here for the kind of questions that you can expect in grade 12. Very exciting to see it. And I'm really excited to partner with... Oh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's really an informal partnership, but really, uh, I believe the quality of their workbooks can really be a benefit to learners. And so from next year, we'll be using these books. This is the isometric uh, chapter. Here we go. We're going over to solid. So it's all very familiar um, to some of you, the kind of questions, but it's compiled in a very compact workbook focusing on the of course, the kind of questions that you'll also be prepared to answer in the... These are really good layouts here. We've got CAMS and Loki. And by this stage, when we get to this pages in, in next year, it's going to be 
very close to the end of the year. We've got our Lokis here for grade 12s and some transition pieces. All right, and the last one is also Helix. All right, let's have a look at the other books because there's quite a few more things in here. We've got the grade um, 10 workbooks and the grade 11 workbooks that we're going to go through uh, in class. And you can almost bet on it that most of these drawings we will do together in class that we'll be working through. And then they've added for us here a selection of the textbooks that goes along with these workbooks. Of course, this is uh, learners wanting additional support. Um, and what's amazing about these, it's got step-by-step -step instructions how to do every component within engineering graphics and design. So something that really you can uh, fall back on. Um, and it's also revised recently, so this is some benefit. There's one more thing in the bag which I'd like to show you. Let's uh, just make some room here. It's the highest year technical education solution instrument pack. And um, this is very exciting. It's the first time I'm opening it up. Let's see what is inside here. All right. Wow. Except the drawing board. This is basically all the different instruments that you'll need to make a success of engineering graphics and design. It's got here the highest ear compass. You can see it's branded also for highest ear. Selection of um, pens, eraser, and then your different stencils. What's really nice, I saw this uh, another time. The triangles have got the circle stencils in it, so really very useful. And it's got the square edge. I see some providers have an angled edge, and that makes it difficult when you use different sides of the triangles. I really like these from highest ear. It's quite a number of other instruments in here, so I think real good value. Eraser stencil. We'll be using some of this as we go along during the course of this year. All right, so that's the big surprise. Highest year workbooks to be used on How to EGD and in my classroom from next year as I help you navigate engineering graphics and design. Of course, if there's some of you who need that extra bit of support, please join our EGD masterclasses, only available to all Access members on the How to EGD platform. Please check the membership. There's quite a number of excellent videos there available for you for that extra edge in engineering graphics and design. In the meantime, please share with your friends, tell your teachers, that How to EGD will be using highest year engineering, graphics and design workbooks from next year. I look forward to every live lesson and sharing with you in this journey of discovering engineering, graphics and design. All the best and keep drawing. Cheers.